Okay, I'm going to start off by apologising for the background because I'm in the in my office, which is currently in the garage, um, and I'm also going to apologise for the most of this video, which is going to be waist height. So oh, that's not so awkward. So for Goodwood 2019, 18, 19, whatever, I got this from Wish, and it's um, a little camera holster thing, a little metal pin that goes on the bottom of your camera like that where the uh, strap would plug in and that uh, screw in and that goes into there and that holds your camera from your belt loop right uh, from your belt normal belt and that you get it off and releases it right that cost me a quid from wish and that's that served me really well that held a uh, d7100 with a tamron 30 to uh, 70 to 300 on it so you know not a it's not a full frame, but it's still pretty heavy camera and not a light lens, not a small lens. So, having had success with that, I went on Amazon and I got that version. Oh, but wait, that version, yeah. This thing, look at that. That is some proper solid, uh, what's that, stainless and aluminium mix? Oh, bits of stainless, bits of aluminium. Now, for the waist height bit. Okay. So this for wedding photography. I've uh, had some wedding photographers complain about their seconds wearing uh, big leather straps and and what have you, you know, dual harnesses and the kind of thing I tend to wear, frankly, which is kind of you know your your double harness or your what I've heard called the uh, the cowboy harness, so brown leather. I mean, that's the top one. So now we have this one. Now, first test, it's a D750, pretty heavy camera, but with like a 35 on it, nothing major. So it's, you know, a decent weight, professional grade camera. Look at that, really sturdy, man. That is a solid clip on as well. Got to kind of reach across for the clip there to get it off, but not the end of because you can't unclip and take it off with one hand. That's a slight design flaw. I would do something about that. Maybe a little trigger point here or something, so if you grab it and, I don't know. But either way, the real challenge is the D70, uh, D750 with this bloody great big all metal 70 to 200 f2.8. Bloody huge lens. I mean, for it's your wedding photography lens. It's pretty standard for wedding photography, but it's huge. It's really heavy. And that is secure as anything. You can walk around, run around with that. It flips, doesn't matter. Take it off, it's there in a second. Like that really easy back where it was i literally got this today so i'm not i've got the holsters perfectly lined up and practiced with yet but look at that proper proper sturdy really comfy man it spreads the weight across your waist really well these great big pads spread the weight across the actual contact point so it doesn't if it's entirely around your pelvis and you're you're feeling controlled a bit but yeah, you've got the camera swinging off your waist, but it's not like off a harness where they're swinging from here and they, as you move sideways, they, you know, centrifugal force brings them out to the sides and they crack into stuff. This, far easier to, like if you're walking through a crowd, you keep a hand on each and you just get through the crowd like that, right? Not too difficult. You know it's not going to swing out. You know, even, particularly with a long lens like that, that's the, the nightmare, is it's swinging around like that, which if it's hanging on a big string like that, it's going to do. It's going to swing, baff, it's going to hit kids, it's going to hit cars, it's gonna, whatever, it's going to get damaged. Whereas uh, this, nice and sturdy. I swear by that, that's fantastic. I'll be using this uh, strap uh, holster thing for my first uh, full wedding shortly. And uh, I'm really interested to see how that goes. 